here we are going to learn how to create a servlet demonstrating the use of session, creation and destruction. We can also check whether the user has visited this page first time or has visited earlier also using the session. So let's get into the video. We'll start the NetBeans. First, Step is to create a project. We'll create a new project, web, web application. We'll name the file session example. Click on finish. We'll create a servlet here under the source package. Right click, new. Click on servlet, session, program, just give a name for your servlet, I am not creating a package, click on next, add the information to the deployment descriptor and then click finish. Basic servlet, you are ready with your basic servlet. Let's run the file and see whether it is working or not. Yo, it's working. So we'll come back to our program. We'll start writing the code here. The first step is to create a session object. I've created a session object that is an HTTP session. You are supposed to add your header file. The header file gets added. Okay, the next step is so there are two messages which are going to, which we are going to display on the page based on the uh, session. Uh, that is, if the session is a new session, we will display a welcome newcomer. Or else, if it's an old session, then we can display the message that is welcome back. We are going to display the session ID, which has been created by using the get ID session method and get creation date. So you will get uh, the details about when the session was actually created and the last access time. So you are returning a date type so we have to add a header file for it java.util.date okay and then the number of previous access so you require a variable that is a count variable and I'll declare a variable here I'll initialize it to zero uh, we are printing the number of previous access. So initially the access would be zero because the user is visiting the page for the first time. And suppose if the user is an old user, you can add a count plus plus here, which indicates that the user, the number of times a user gets visit the particular page or uh, the number of times might increase here and it would get printed here. So let's run the file and see. So because he is a new user, welcome newcomer, the ID, the session ID gets printed, the creation time and the time of last access. So this is the first access and the last access. Uh, the number of previous access is zero and if I suppose I go and refresh the page then the number of previous access is changing. The number of times a user has visited the page is greater than or equal to 10 then you are supposed to destroy the session. So the method for destroying a session goes here session.invalidate. So invalidate is a method. So once the number of times exceeds, uh, it is equivalent to 10 or more than that, then the session gets uh, invalidated or destroyed. Okay. So run the file and check the output. 
So the number of previous axes is zero because I have refreshed the page again. Now let's refresh and see the number of times. So the next is nine and then 10. Okay, after this uh, session gets destroyed and uh, uh, you can see the ID is getting changed. We'll run the file again and check whether the number of previous axes, if it's greater than 10, then the session gets uh, you know, destroyed and a new session gets created. So as you can see, a new session is created. So as soon as it reaches the value 10, again a new ID gets created. Okay, so I have changed the initial count as equivalent to zero. And so if it is a new session, then the count is equivalent to zero. And if it's, so every time whenever the user refreshes the pages, the number of uh, previously access count gets increased. And if it is greater than or equivalent to 10, then the session is destroyed. And again, if the page gets refreshed, then a new session gets created. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video.